Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, trying to figure out what to do for this video, I sat down and I actually found this old drawing here from a while ago, and it was based off of this photo here. And I was trying to figure out how this and this looked like each other. Well, I kind of had to break it to you, but they don't. In my mind, the only solution was to completely redo the drawing. And I was really excited actually, because I was gonna do this in more of my new style. And just, I really wanted to get more detailed. I've been really looking forward to spending more time on drawing and adding more details. Um, I really wanna perfect my craft. And so this drawing just kind of seemed like it was like screaming at me to give me that opportunity. So I went for it. <laughs> so right now I'm just sketching and hopefully getting that in. And then I just filled it all in with a tan color and then I'm starting to like block in colors and stuff. Well, then I decided not to do the red first and I decided to stick on one piece of the whole like puzzle in a sense at a time. So I don't get very overwhelmed. Um, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, not to say it was easy in the slightest, but I think just having the reference, you can't see it now, but having a reference there as I'm drawing was very helpful. I was just color blocking in like details and then when I would see like some light sources would be a little bit more sharp and some would be smooth and so I would just kind of go in there and blend out the smoother parts. So yeah, now that I'm moving on to the skin, we're gonna get a little bit more, it's a little bit more complicated. It looks a lot wonkier because now I don't have the hair. It is really funny, the entire time I was doing this part, I thought he looked like a clown. It probably doesn't help that I don't have a background, but, and all the details aren't really in yet. And as I was planning on doing this, I was planning on doing my more anime style, or at least I was hoping so. So I made the eyes a lot bigger and how I usually would draw anim my anime eyes, I guess for at least males, or I do a little smaller. But then as I continued drawing, it just something seemed so off as I started adding in like the nose and like everything. The eyes just seemed really weird and I couldn't put together what it was. And later I'll actually, you'll see it, but I'll actually lasso tool them and make them smaller and fill in the gaps. But yeah, I actually had a lot of fun doing this drawing. I originally drew it when Interlude Shadow came out and that is a BTS song, so. I remember drawing this actually and I remember thinking it was so, so good. This is here is where I'm struggling with the mouth. I hate drawing mouths. I'm used to drawing in just lines. But yeah, the struggle's real, I guess. It just, I don't know what it was. I just can't draw them. Kind of like how I struggle with hands. I just kind of don't put them there. So it's the same thing with mouths. I usually just don't have any detail to them. But I started eventually figuring it out. And as soon as I started putting like highlights and everything near the end, it started kind of coming together a little more. Then I kind of figured, hmm, I should probably put hair on him at some point. Maybe that would help a little bit so it doesn't look so wonky. But I'm adding a little bit of color to the skin and just a lot of rendering details. But it's so interesting because there's colors that you're looking at in the reference that you know his hair is like, it's not this weird mauve color, but because of the lighting, it looks like that. It's just very interesting going into adding color, but I had a lot of fun with it. I usually don't add this much detail to drawings. The liquify tool definitely saved my life. <laughs> I definitely took some inspiration from some other artists on YouTube and added some like cross hatching and different like textures onto the drawing. I thought it was just kind of fun. Um, I used an HB pencil brush to add in some of the stray, stray hairs. I thought they had a fun texture to them. Oh, I was just really enjoying adding so many details to this drawing. I kind of wanted to keep adding more. <laughs> Sadly, this isn't my usual style. So if you're new here, hi, I'm sorry <laughs> to disappoint, but please stick around and hopefully I can surprise you with my normal stuff even more. I hope to do try this style again and hopefully do well. Um, here I'm adding the highlights and I just love this part. Love, love this part. 
it really just seemed to add everything together. As I decided I was gonna draw the background myself, um, I tried doing it like the reference photo. And <laughs> what is that? I don't understand what those little sausage fingers are. So I couldn't do it. So I just took the original drawing, blurred it, <laughs> and put it in the background. And then I struggled to do my signature for a little bit, which I usually don't add, but it's there now. So that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the final drawing. I worked really hard on it. It actually took me about three hours and 22 minutes to do. I don't think I've ever sat still for that long to do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos. I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye.